What's up, everybody? It's Caden York Gaming, and we're back at you with another Final Fantasy XIV O Realm Reborn gameplay walkthrough. The last time we left off, we had just got done creating our character, and we're going on right now. Let's go ahead and start this off. Okay. Begin a new game with this character? Okay. Yes. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's see if we got any type of cutscene. That's what I'm... Um, Normally, Final Fantasy games are really big on the cutscenes and, and uh, trailers and stuff, so I'm expecting to see oh. something to give us a storyline. Hmm. Now loading. What is that little guy? It's someone that's pooping something. Oh it's no! It's a messenger pigeon, it's... looks like kinda, and... with little with little bubble antenna at, on the top of it. It's not a Moogle, though. I don't know what that is. It's got little... It's got little legs. <laughs> it's got little glitchy legs. You see it? What in the world is that thing? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> it's a cat. Here we go. It's a Prone to epilepsy, you should not be watching this trailer. What's the what's the epilepsy? That was some shiny little graphics there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of color involved. Mm. Oh, that's what that means. <laughs> Just a little bit, yep. Epilepsy is like seizures from flashing lights and stuff. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so we started off with a little bit of a semi-looking battle type deal going yeah. on here. Uh-oh, here we go. Hey, hey you. Hey, hey you. The screen's black. I can't see them. Oh, oh. Wow, this looks familiar. Y'all right, lad? You were moaning something fierce for a while there. Feeling the effects of the aether, I reckon. You'll get used to it, though. Don't worry. Oh, snap. I'm on a chocobo pirate ship carriage. This is cool, man. Chocobo is right from the start. You there, Holt! What's all this about? Uh-oh. Inspection! Men, search the carriage! Uh-oh. Oh, man. I'm just an honest peddler, friend, so uh, don't be too disappointed if you don't find nothing. Mind your tongue, old man, lest I cut it out. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sir, look, Somnus! 
Honest peddler, was it? Since when do honest peddlers steal and prohibited herbs? You're in a lot of trouble, old man. You'll rot in the dungeon till the end of your days unless you can afford the fine. Heh, <laughs> business as usual. Uh-oh. What in the world? Whoa! Almaja! Almaja! Two arms! Two arms! Uh-oh. What in the world? Is it gonna start off with fight? <laughs> it looks like it. Seven Hells! Consider this a warning. Now go! All of you! Who are oh, you? Oh, snap. Uh, we're taking off, it looks like, I think. we are They're fighting uh. these... Almaja. Hmm. I guess it is the boss kind of battle. <laughs> Phew! That kind of excitement ain't good for the heart. You be careful around them brass blades. Lad bastards, I'll have the shirt off your back if they fancy it. Like common bandits, they are only less honest. Thank the gods for sending some beastmen to the rescue, eh? Hey, seeing as we still got a long ride ahead, you mind keeping me company till we arrive? Them young'uns don't much care for conversation, see? Brent's the name, and Pedalin's my trade. And judging by your unusual garments, I'll wager you're one of them new adventurers. Oh wait, that was Brent. <laughs> I knew it! Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. He's not the grizzled peddler anymore. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business these days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Why did you become an adventurer? To gain power? To win glory? Or to amass a fortune? To gain power. To gain power. I'm telling them. Power. As an ad, power to good, to do good, like protecting the weak and fighting for what's right and all that. Aye, I, I should I should have gave him a pirate's voice. Aye, I thought that's what you meant. Well, adventures go get up to a lot of fighting, that's for sure. You'll never be short of a chance to polish your warcraft in the adventuring business. When you arrive in town, you'd best enroll at the Adventures Guild. They'll set you on the right path. And it wouldn't hurt to join a guild, neither. Old does, home to a few, so if you fancy learning how to fight with a sword, your fist or even spells, you should think about seeking one out. Just remember, though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. By the by, is this your first trip to Old Dar? This your first trip to Old Dar? Yes. It is. Well then, let this journey itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Oh, he's telling me. Olda's ruled by the Sultana in, the, in, the, in name, but as most folk know, the syndicate holds all real power. Them and their mon monetarist cronies could happily get rid of Her Majesty altogether, but that won't happen while she still commands the loyalty of the Royalists, and the Royalists are nothing but if not loyal. These factions have long fought over power, throwing the weight of their wealth against each other, and they show no signs of stopping. Of course, the Lizardmen, that's the al couldn't care less about the old Don politics. They have their own interests, see, and they ain't afraid to use force to serve them. They say war is a gift to peddlers, need breed and profit, and though it shames me to say, I'm inclined to agree. Ah, at long last. Behold Uldal, Jewel of Thanalan, where folk and turn sand into gold. Where folk turn sand into gold. Whoa. Sounds a little bit crazy. Are we going to get a cutscene of the city? Let's see. It's loading. It's loading. 
We're getting there. In the sun there it is. South. Surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance. Her name, Ulda. Even with the coming of the seventh umbral era, hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. As the twin faces of Nald Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. Uh-oh. And here's where we part ways, lad. I'm off to the markets to, live, to deliver me wares. Then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this. By way of thanks for putting up with me, Prattle. Hmm. He's giving us stuff already. What I got looked like nothing. You never did tell me your name, though. Hey, but here's an idea. Become the sort of stored personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. You have a big sword. Oh, yeah. May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. Here it goes. We're starting off on our Final Fantasy. This, that was, all this was just the beginning of the game. Wow. That was a big beginning. And we'll be going strong with this game because Final Fantasy is one of my favorite game series of all time. I love everything that they put out. It's just, it's great. What's your other favorite ones? I like The Legend of Zelda's, but Nintendo's just been, ah, uh, ah, uh. <laughs> Nintendo, please do something with your third party support, please, please. <laughs> oh, adventurer, over here! Questionable man. Who is this questionable man? Hey, I mean you! Fresh off the carriage by any chance? Hey, how can I tell? Ha! <laughs> Name's Wymond, and business is knowing every bugger else's. Now then, what if I was to offer you some invaluable advice by way of welcome to our fair city, free of charge, even just this once like? And this is how we start off right now. Oh, oh boy. Welcome to Uldah, the shiny beacon of prosperity rising from the deserts of Thanalan. Follow the instructions to move your character and adjust the position of the camera. All right, so let's check this out. Basic controls. L2 and R2 is when held is the ready to hot bar. L1 is to turn on or off auto run. R1 cycles through the hot bars. Select is our Heads up display components. Start is the main menu. Circle as always is to cancel. X is to select the nearest target and confirm. Square as always is to display the map and oh man we can jump. Triangle is to jump. Move the cursor with the directional stick. Move your character with the left stick and move the camera with the right stick. Pretty cool. Simple simple. <laughs> Alright. Okay. When you are ready to proceed speak to Wyman. Get out of here. Close. Close. Sable all help windows. Help settings can be adjusted. 
Okay, close. Close. Okay, so what do you? What can so you this do? So this is about it. We're starting off in what city was it? Like uh, maybe Ethan. Do you remember no. the name of the city? No. Initiating quests. Press select. Confirm. Non-playing characters, NPCs. Offering quests can be recognized by the exclamation marks above their heads. To bring up the quest window, speak with the NPC by first targeting him, then pressing the confirm button. Coming to Old Wall. To be recognized an adventurer in the city-state of Old Wall, you must register yourself within with the Adventurer's Guild. Accept. Tis plain to anyone with eyes that you don't know your way around here. If I let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you're certain to get mugged or worse. And I don't want that on my conscience. So before you do anything else, you'll want to head over to the quicksand and speak with Mamodi. She's the master of the Adventurer's Guild and can set you on the right path. So the Adventurer's Guild is right to my left, it looks like. Just take those steps over yonder and pass through the double doors. You'll find her inside. And that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the Adventurer and Adventurer. <laughs> do you see how big this city is? Quest accepted. You have begun a quest. Use the duty list to help you complete your task. Thanks, Upon accepting a quest, the current objectives will appear under the quest title in the duty list on the right side of the screen. A maximum of five quests can be displayed at once. They said duty list. Select. Okay, there we go. Selecting the title journal, the, the title will open the quest in your journal, allowing you to review objects and rewards. Okay. Oh look, there's like this little uh, kind oh, yeah. of. Thing. Oh man, I got a I got a compass map. Yeah. Sweet. And then the green is is my objective right there. You see mm -hmm. that? Cool, man. Awesome. So now you you're almost. It at makes your... it really easy to. Do what I need to do. Too far away. Say. 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 Hi there, or something like that. How do I suck to him? Just. Who do we gotta see? I go through the double doors. Is that? Was that the double doors that I just yeah. went through? Mamodi. Complete a quest by speaking to the NPC with a check mark displayed above his or her head. Completing quests will earn you a variety of rewards from items and guild to experience points. Huh. Okay. Emoji. There we go. No, accept Boom. it. <laughs> I think I just completed my first quest. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? I wonder. What have you say, you, Mamodi? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. You gonna tell me where to go on my next adventure? Why, hello there! Who might you be? <laughs> if you're looking to join the Adventurers Guild, you've come to the right place! Name's Mamori, and I own this fine establishment if it please you! I also manage the Adventurers Guild here in Old Dar, so you might say that looking after great adventurers like yourself is my vocation. And lucky for you, that is, without someone like me steering you right, you'd soon find yourself out in the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. Like our conflict with Al Majar, for example, they would plague the Sultanate for nigh on. Oh, forever now. Then there's the Garlean Empire. None can say for sure what they're plotting these days, only that they are. <laughs> Aye, the people drink and make merry, but underneath it all, there's worry. Worry and a lingering feel of lost. And dance. 
And little wonder, it's scarce been five years since a lesser moon cracked open like a giant egg, releasing an abomination and turning turn of the realm into an eighth hell. So much was lost in the blink of an eye, t'was like the end of the world had come at last. But then begin, then things begin to get foggy. Everyone's got their own version of what happened next, some of them, two or three. You'd think people would remember something like that, but the fact is, they don't. Nobody does. There's one thing that the survivors agree on, though. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for a realm that wasn't their own. They fought valiantly, and like so many others, they never returned. Deeds worth remembering, I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame of our recollect. Our recollections of those brave heroes are as jumbled as those of the Calamity itself. Whenever we try to call their faces to mind, it's like they're stranded between us and the midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I'll bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. But even if we can't remember them, we'll not let them be forgotten, and so we'll call them the Warriors of Light. And they'll forever stand as a shining example of what adventurers can achieve. That's why I welcome new arrivals like yourself to our fair city. All I ask is that you lend a helping hand and try to leave Odwa in a better state than you found her. If you can promise that, I'd be happy to let you join the guild. That, that seems like a new mission. Alright then, a promise is a promise now. I'm counting on your help to put the past behind us. We need people working and spending and bickering like the old days. And a happy and proper, prosperous old one means more business for the quicksand, too. In a road, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the register, neat as you can. Neat as you can. <laughs> You're working there it is. I think I did it. Crystal's Final Fantasy. Well, ain't that a charming name? Just rolls off the tongue, it does. <laughs> All right, Mr. Elf, Mr. Final Fantasy. On behalf of the Adventurers Guild, I officially... Please, sir. Oh, wait. Please, sir, be merciful. Twelve is my witness. I swear to you, I'll bring you, to, bring you your money. In the East, it is said that even a merciful god might be driven to vengeance if thrice blasphemed. Be grateful you were given a fourth chance to offend. You to offend. You attend to this scum. Yeah. No, please, mercy! Well, ain't that a sorry sight? No, an uncommon one. If I'm honest, don't worry. Though, if you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Just the same, if you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bothering me every time you stub your bloody toe, alright? Course, I do enjoy hearing a tale of gentlemen's woes with the woman folk from time to time. Any road, welcome to Odor, Christos. Christos. Take a moment to catch your breath and I'll teach you a little about our fair city. <sighs> are we saving? Is that our save or our load? Coming to Old War complete. We get 50, 103 pennies. Just kidding, that's, that's probably their currency in gold. It looks like 50 experience. Yep. 50 complete. experience. Quest complete. 100 and something, like, This like, concludes the introductory game tutorial. You have taken the first steps as an adventurer in the city of Oldwa. Listen well to the wisdom of Mamodi, Modi, then go forth and discover the incredible adventurers that await you. Now, the question is, is how do I save? <laughs> I think you're already saved. Does it automatically save for us? I don't see anything yet. 
teleport. We can teleport. Uh, game. Map, scenario, quests. What do you got to say, Momodi? Momodi, the proprietress of the quicksand, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of, av of adventuring. Accept from Momodi. Uh-oh. Before you go charging off to find your fortune, I have a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform so as to help you get to know the, pla the place. First of all, I want you to visit the Atherite Plaza. To get there, head west from here till you reach Emerald Avenue. Then look to the north. You should see a giant floating crystal called an Aetherite. If it weren't for Aetherites, traveling around Erosia would be a dang sight more troublesome than it is. Of course, you still need to attune with them before you can use them. So be sure to do that with the one in the plaza. You ever attune with an Aetherite before Chris does? If not, just lay your hand on the thing and you'll see what I mean. When you... When you've done that, I want you to pay a visit to the Gladiator's Guild over at the Coliseum. Assuming that sword ain't just for show, you might consider training there. And finally, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue Exchange over on the steps of Thyre. Thou. Good from all across the Rosia and beyond turn up there every day. You'll have no trouble finding armor, weapons, or anything else a fledged adventure like yourself might need. You might say that everything's for sale here in Odua, as long as you've got the gill. Just make sure as you don't pay more than you ought, Chris does. There's plenty as won't scruple to swindle unsuspected foreigners like yourself, especially if they think no one's looking out for their best interests. Which is why I'm giving you this letter when you visit the exchange. Find a gentleman named Ciceroga and give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the markets once he's read it. In short then, visit the Atherite Plaza, the Gladiators Guild, and the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Simple! Oh, but before you go, a word of advice. While there are more than a few unsavory characters out there who'll try to take advantage of you, there are also some with honest-to-goodness problems who should consider offering a helping hand to. A lot of folk are lured to the city by the promise of wealth and power. What many of them realize, fail to realize is that instead of chasing after Gil the moment that they get here, they ought to be making friends. Let it be known that you're willing to give as much as you get, and opportunities will come your way. And that's all for me. It's past time you got going. Oh, and let me know when you're finished, will you? That way I won't spend my days worrying that you're down to your small clothes without a guild to your name. Woo! Quest accepted. It's kind of tough talking in all these different voices. You, um, you obtained a 103 guild. Yeah, I know, I see that. 103 guild and 50 experience points. Oh, that's what, like, that, that 103 thing is, like, money. Main menu select. If you wish to customize the game's various settings, including key binding, HD layout, and system configuration, they can all be accessed via system. Select active help to redisplay these tutorial messages. Game progress is saved automatically, so there are no in-game save or load functions. That's pretty awesome because I was just wondering about that. However, to prevent data from being lost or corrupted, it is strongly recommended that you end each playing session by selecting log out or exit game from the system menu. Okay. That's it, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Close. Close it. Cool, man. Confirm. Sanctuaries, confirm. Yeah? Yeah. 
A crescent moon icon will appear below your experience bar whenever you are you whenever you enter a sanctuary. While in this special area, you will accrue a rested bonus. The bonus will continue to grow even if you are offline. All experience earned through battle, crafting, and gathering while under the benefit of the rested bonus will be increased by 50%. Your current rested bonus is displayed on top of your experience bar. The dark orange bar shows how much more experience can be earned before the bonus fades. If the bar is blue, it indicates your bonus will carry over to the next level. Inns in all three city-states, as well as various outposts and settlements, are classified as sanctuaries. Okay. <laughs> to maximize your experience earning potential, make it a habit to always log out in one of these areas. Okay. Gotcha. No. Mm, yeah. Alright, that's... moon icon will appear below your experience bar. See? There's, there's a crescent moon. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that over there. Gotcha. And we, cool, are, we are about level one. Um, and we have 50% end. Navigation. Oh we still got more stuff. Selecting map from the main menu will bring up the area map. If a quest objective is located in that area, it will be indicated with a special icon. The location of quest objectives can also be con confirmed by selecting the objective in the duty list. I said duty. Duty. <laughs> and main scenario quests. Important quests used to tell the story of Erosia and her people are called main scenario quests. These tasks are easily distinguishable from others by their unique icon. Okay. Gotcha. So to open up my menu, I just do one of those little numbers. General. Okay. Battle. I can go to other things too. <laughs> what is that? Got no idea. Hot bar settings, display name settings, control settings, <laughs> default close, close. Default close. And then this brings up my main menu. Easter. And then we're going to be done for the day and we'll be starting our new quests and the next gameplay walkthrough of Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. So we're going to go ahead and save and exit right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel. And when you comment down below, tell us some cool little places that we can go in this game if you've already played it and you know some cool things to do. Or you can also send us friend requests and maybe we'll play with you online uh, in this game as well because it is nothing but a online Final Fantasy Thanks for watching everybody Subscribe to our channel for more Final Fantasy 14